free agents. Well, and we got to update what's actually going on. I mean, uh, because, you know, we're sitting there talking as though it's the information from yesterday, and there are several reports out there now that uh, the Pac-12, uh, and I know that John Wilner is one of those, uh, that's talking about, uh, you know, some sort of an agreement uh, with the ACC, uh, some sort of a partnership uh, that would see, you know, those two go coast to coast, uh, the remaining Pac-12 schools, whoever that would be, and the remaining ACC schools. And, again, this is why I would be very curious to know what that grant of rights actually means for the ACC. I've been saying that all show, and that's why I still want to know, uh, you know, what can be gotten out of and, and what is ironclad. Uh, but uh, certainly the ACC and the Pac-12, if that were to ring true and they were to join up, I mean, then the Big 12 suddenly finds itself from a position of power to once again being the last on the totem pole again and all of a sudden looking around and not having any options versus what it's appeared to have been the last three, four days where they could have their choice of four, they could have their choice of six perhaps if Oregon and Washington don't get that Big 10 invite. I mean, that's why you got to be careful with – everything that's said on social media because if I went off you know one guy in particular uh, then you know you would have had there's going to be a 64 team SEC and then another guy says well they're going to do this but they're not going to allow these schools and I mean like there's just so much stuff and, and and look all the speculation's fun that's what we're doing that's what the chat room's doing and all of that but you do have to be careful with some of it because I and mean, we've already basically read the Pac-12 their last rights and hell they may be in a stronger position when all is said and done now you asked me at the start of the show who's in a better position right now I still maintain that it's the Big 12 but if the Pac-12 were to come to an agreement with the ACC well then that completely flips everything and and suddenly the Big 12 is not necessarily I mean, really any worse off, quite frankly, because they're still adding new teams next year, and we already knew they were losing Oklahoma and Texas. It would just mean they would be the smallest conference. It means they would be by themselves without any partner or super conference of sorts. But, um, I mean, that's that's why you got to, uh, you know, just see how things play out because this is very fluid, and I've seen 15 different predictions for what's going to happen with Oregon alone in the last 48 hours, and none of them have turned true yet, so we'll see. You know, the weird thing to me about a Pac-12 ACC alliance, and if I'm a premier, if I'm Clemson, and, you know, that's on the table, I don't know if that's keeping me from just going to the SEC, because if I would, last year I wanted a Pac-12 SEC alliance if I'm Clemson, because that means that I can go into California and say, like, hey, guess what? We're going to play some games in L.A. where they're recruiting quarterbacks and, you know, wide receivers and players out of, generally. Now you... You can't t promise them a game in LA unless they wind up in the Rose Bowl, you know. So or whatever's left of the yeah. Rose Bowl, so which... I, like to me, like that's it. It's a I, I know the move to make is to stave off contraction of your conference, but is it something that's really going to do that? Because if you are the premier, team, if you're Washington and Oregon, you know, if you're Washington, Oregon, stand for the teams that that Dick just talked about. Does playing games in North Carolina really do anything for you other than, again, uh, keep you on life support for a little while longer until the big teams in your league figure out a way to leave anyway? It, you know, I, I think you need to necessarily, if you're going to make a move, make a move that you think is going gonna, is gonna to be a, a reasonable counterpunch. Well, uh, obviously, we've mentioned.